1982, George Banks carried out a mass shooting in Wilkesbury, killing 13 people. One person survived. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes spoke exclusively with the man who escaped with his life. On this narrow street in Wilkesbury, almost 37 years ago, before mass shootings were commonplace in the headlines, tragedy struck, and one man lives to talk about it today. It definitely took my breath away. I didn't. It, I never expected to be shot. James Olson was in the wrong place at the wrong time with his friend Ray Hall on September 25, 1982. George Banks, leaving his schoolhouse lane residence after murdering members of his own family, came across the two young men. He just walked up, but he had the gun at his side. And he just walked up and Ray said, I think I know you. And he shot him in the stomach and he just turned the gun and shot me to the chest. And I just fell to the ground. I don't really remember much more than that. Through recovering from a critical wound to surviving today, Olson has grown and says he can't dwell on the past. Would it be fair to say that, that you forgive him for that night? Oh, definitely. Because I don't think he was in his right mind what he did. Definitely. He did it. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. But I think he's serving his justice is working. You know, the system's working. A lot of people who disagree with that probably wish that he was put shot that night, you know. But I changed over the years with it. I kind of grew, grew up, I guess you would say, you know. Olson says keeping busy and spending time with family along with therapy sessions keeps him going. Now the empty lot behind me is all that remains of the carnage from so many years ago. Anyone dealing with the recent violence can take solace in Jim's advice and live life one day at a time. Reporting in Wilkesbury, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News.